Okay, so thanks for tuning in again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set, how to force the exit node of a Tor connection to a specific country. Why you might want to do this, let's say you want to use a website, but that website's only available in the U.S., for example. For example, BARD. BARD isn't available in certain countries right now. Um, BARD being um, Google's AI program, AI kind of chat GPT competitor. So... You can use a VPN, obviously, but you have to pay for a VPN. And if all you want to do is use it for BARD every so often, then you may not want to pay for VPN. So what you can do is download Tor. So Tor, if you don't know what it is, it just... Um, let me see something real quick. Okay, so just Google for Tor, Tor browser. So this is on Windows. You know, there's a Mac client, there's a Linux client, etc., etc. Go here, download it. And it's going to put it on your desktop. So let's, I'm just going to do it here on Windows because that's what I have is Windows. So basically, it's going to uh, it's going to everything every website you load through the Tor browser, it's going to anonymize it and it's going to go through the the, the Tor network. So T O R. So all you do is download it, then run it. So to run it, all you have to do is go to just like any other program, find it in Start Tor Browser. And you'll notice connections are a lot slower because you're hopping through multiple nodes of what's called the Onion. I guess they would call it the Onion Network. I'm not a Tor expert. I understand the concepts, but I'm not really too familiar with the lingo. So you can see it's establishing a Tor connection. And if it didn't automatically, there's a button you can say that says connect. And then let's just go to a website. So let's go to IBM.com. You can see it's a lot slower. And some, sometimes it'll be faster, sometimes it'll be slower. It depends on, you know, what nodes you're going through. And as you can see, and this is a little slower than normal. It's normally not this slow. Let's actually go to bar.google.com. Okay, so you can see it's loading, blah, blah, blah. So to see the circuit that was used... We started going through a server. I'm in the U.S., so we started going through a server in Sweden, then to Germany, and we came out through Luxembourg. So if Bard was not allowed in Luxembourg, you wouldn't even see this. It would say, or it actually, maybe at the next step, it may say not available in your country. I don't know. But the point is, I wanted you to show the circuit of where it's going through. Go starts at the Tor browser here on my home network in the United States, Sweden, Germany, Luxembourg, Luxembourg. So, what if you want to force all of the connections to go to exit out of the US. I'm copying something from my notepad over here. All you have to do is close it and what you want to do, and I'll put all this stuff in, in the description below. You want to go locate the Tor RC file. So where it's at for me is my users are my C users, username, desktop, Tor browser, browser, Tor browser, data Tor. Could be a little different for you, but all you're looking for is the Tor RC file, right? So all you got to do is right click, open with Notepad or Notepad Plus or, you know, if you PyCharm, whatever you have. And let's bring this over. So all you have to do is copy exit note, and I'm saying the U.S. Now, to know, if you don't know your country codes, you can go to, I have this website copied over here. Here, these are the two two character country codes you can use. So if you want to make sure, go here, country code, let's search for Canada. And obviously, it's CA, right? Now, if you want to see where to make sure Tor has a node in the country you want to use, go to this URL here. And again, this will be hopefully in the description below. And then you can search through here to see, find um, relays. So obviously there are some in the US. So let's go back here. So this number sign means it's commented out. So with this in, if I save it, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. However, if I get rid of the number sign, it's now active. And you can also put multiple countries in here. It could look like this. Let 
but we're just going to do you do us right so strict nodes means if it's strict it's either one or zero i don't think there's a two or a three if it's one the exit node has to be us if it's zero it's a preference it's prefer us but if there's nothing else available you can fall back to something else right so let's do strict nodes one let's save it let's load up tour whoops All kinds of files open here. Let's close all these. Okay. So it's loading. And we're going to go to bar.google.com. And to see that circuit that was used, you click on this little blue thing up here. And you can see now it's now going to the U.S. So Germany, U.S., U.S. So Germany, this is the IP address of the first hop second hop third hop now there's also something you can do if you wanted to set the entry node to a certain country code you can do entry node so we'll save it doesn't mean the middle no the middle nodes could be another country but the first node should be us and the second node should be us Always connect automatically, and it didn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. I don't know why it didn't, but it didn't. We're gonna go to bardoogle.com. It's probably gonna be a little faster because it's going through two U.S. nodes, which are local to me. If not, it could, you know, it could go through, you know, Cambodia, then through, you know, Taiwan, then through Israel. So it could be a lot slower. So you can see here, since it's permitted, well, I don't know why it's, it's coming to this page, not the agreement page. But if you go here, started U.S., middle U.S. Right, so start in the middle, so that's forced because of entry node force, strict nodes one. Middle node, I don't think you can I don't think you can make the whole connection go through a certain country, so that's gonna be different. Then the exit node is US. And that's because of this. So if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, notification bell. If you need any help with SEO, head over to Norzer.me, join our Discord channel below. If you could type in the comments, the keywords you use to find this video, that'd be extremely helpful. So now we got rid of everything. We're going to do this one more time. Let's check this out. Tour. And we're going to go to bar.google.com. And over here, if you ever want to do a new identity or new tour circuit, you can do it from over here without having to exit back out. But I like to exit back out just to make sure everything's clean. So it's connected, it's going to BARD, and we're looking at the circuit, Sweden, United States, Germany. So you can see it changed up. So hope this helped you guys. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Need any help, head over to norzer.me. Join the Discord channel, and let me know what keywords you use to find this video. See ya.